Hello guys, this is Paul McWhorter with TopTechBoy.com and I am here today with lesson number four on using your BeagleBone microcontroller. We've got a really exciting lesson for you today. What we are going to do today is we are going to learn <clears throat> how to start controlling these GPIO pins using Python. And what we're going to specifically learn today is we're going to learn how to do digital writes, how we can set any of the GPIO pins to a zero or to a 3.3 volt output. So we're going to start by doing digital writes to the GPIO pins. You probably need to go back and review lesson number one. You can go to www.toptechboy.com. You can click on the BeagleBone Black Lessons and come to BeagleBone Black Lesson number one. And you can get your very own handy dandy diagram of what these pins are on the BeagleBone Black. It'd probably be good to go ahead and print this out, maybe tape it up on your wall next to your workstation so you can have a quick reference guide as, to far, as far as what pins work uh, do what. As far as doing digital writes, the pins that are really suitable for doing digital writes are the pins that I have outlined in green here and here. As you're working with this, the first thing you need to make sure is, is that you're oriented the same direction I am. You can see in the upper left corner I have the 5 volt plug. This is on the diagram on the actual board in the upper left. I have the 5 volt <coughs> the 5 volt plug. Let's talk a little bit about how these pins are named and how we have to reference them. The way we reference the pins in the Python program is you start with the header. This header on the left, when you're oriented this way, is the P9 header. This header on the right is the P8 header. So if I wanted to reference this pin, I would call it P9 <coughs> underscore 12. <coughs> this would be P9 underscore 30. This would be P9 underscore 41. This one would be P8 underscore 14. So you can see I have two headers. This is the P9 header. This is the P8 header. The header has two columns. This is how we number the column on the left, the column on the right. So with this, <clears throat> you can uniquely identify any pin that you want to. Let's say that in this lesson we are going to be working with pin 12. So that's going to be P9 underscore 12. And I'm also going to hook up to this ground, which would be P9 underscore 2. So let's go ahead and hook my DVM up to those. And so the ground is going to be right here, the left header, the right column, <clears throat> and the first row. So I plug that in, and then I want to come down to pin 12. So I'm going to stay on the inside. I'm going to stay on the inside, and I'm going to go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. <clears throat> this would be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And so I will plug that in. Let me check. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. That looks like it, it's hooked up right. Interestingly enough, when you plug it in and we haven't done anything, it just seems like that the in, unconfigured pin is putting out about 3.2 volts. And so that's before we've done anything at all. Now we want to write a program, a Python program, to control that pin. <clears throat> so we need to fire up the BeagleBone Black desktop. I showed you very clearly how to do that in lesson number two. You can go back and look at that or if you've already got your desktop up or a terminal window up for your BeagleBone Black, that's fine as well. If you're not sure how to do it, go back and watch lesson number two. But you can see here is my desktop and I will fire off a terminal window and you come in here and we now have a Linux terminal window running remotely from the BeagleBone Black. Let's see where we are with the PWD command. You can see that I am in my login folder, which is my root folder. <coughs> We're going to be writing some programs. So I want to create a folder for my programs. If I do an ls just to see what's there, the only folder I've got is my desktop folder. So I'm going to make a directory, mkdir, and I'm going to make that directory and I'm going to call it my Python, my underscore Python. Now if I do an ls, <clears throat> you can see I have a folder, my underscore Python. I go down into that folder so I don't have to keep typing in my path name. So I'm going to do cd for change directory, go to my Python. Now I can ooh, uh, change directory my underscore Python <clears throat> to an ls. It's empty. 
do a PWD, you can see, yes, I'm in fact in my Python folder. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to step you through writing a Python program that will allow you to control these pins. So let's do a nano to fire off our editor. What are we going to call this? <clears throat> let's call this uh, digout.py. You don't have to name your folders with a dot p you don't have to name your files with a dot py extension, but when you do, it makes it easier to keep all your Python files uh, organized. Okay, we are in our editor and we are now ready to go. The first thing that I need to do is I need to import the library that will allow me to talk to the GPIO pins. So I do an import add a fruit. You have to do the capitalization exact. A is uppercase, everything else is lowercase. <clears throat> and then underscore BBIO, all cap, and then dot GPIO, all cap, as GPIO all cap. That imports the Adafruit library. If you have the recent uh, BeagleBone Black Rev C, it comes with this Adafruit library already installed. You don't have to go and download, li download the library and install it. If you have an older version, you can go to the BeagleBoard website and you can update your operating system. So you could go to BeagleBoard.org getting started and down in here they have some instructions for you on how to download and how to flash <clears throat> the new operating system onto your uh, BeagleBone Black. But if you have the <clears throat> recent operating system that's shipping uh, now with the system, it will have this Adafruit BBIO.GPIO library. If you get an error on this line when you run the program, first of all, make sure that you've typed it in perfectly. If you have typed it in perfectly, you probably need to know, uh, you probably need to go get the uh, updated operating system. I am running the Debian operating system. It's version 7, the Wheezy. <clears throat> okay, so that is what I am running. We have imported the library. What we need to do now is we need to set up a pin. So I'm going to just call it my out pin. I like to put variable names on my pins. You have to put the pin reference in quotes. What was the pin? It was on upper score P9. That was the left header. And then it was pin 12. So let's, let's go back and look at that. We were on P9, the left header, and we were on <clears throat> physical pin 12. So we specify that uppercase P9 underscore 12, exactly like that. That will reference that pin. Now we need to set that pin up as an output. So we do that as GPIO <coughs> dot setup. We're going to set up that pin. Which pin? The out pin. And what are we going to set it up as? GPIO dot out. Okay, so I now have that pin, P9 underscore 12, I have that defined to be an output pin. What I'm also going to need to do is I want to put some delays in here, so I need to import the, the uh, time library from uh, Python, so I would say from time import sleep and this will allow me to put delays in. <clears throat> let's say that we want to blink this thing five times. Let's do a uh, let's do a for loop. So for i in range, where do I want to start? Well I want to start at zero. Where do I want to stop? I want to stop at five which will go up to five but not five which will stop at four but since I started at zero that means it'll turn on and off five times and then a for loop in Python we put a colon to ind indicate our clause is starting and then we uh, tab over with indentation to show that this is our Python clause and what do I want to do well I want to set that pin high <clears throat> how do I set that pin high I say GPIO, I want to output to it. So I say output, lowercase, and then which pin? It is out pin, and then it is GPIO dot high. <clears throat> so the command is GPIO uppercase dot output that says I'm going to write to the pin which pin? I'm going to out pin, and what do I want to set it as? 
GPIO hot. That'll move it high. <coughs> then let's leave it there. Let's sleep for, eh, let's say, three seconds. And then what do I want to do? I want to do GPIO.output <coughs> to where? Out pin. And remember, out pin is this pin. And then comma GPIO dot low. So I'm going to set it low. What do I want to do? I want to wait again. So I'll sleep <coughs> for three. So I go high, wait three, go low, wait three, and then I loop through this five times. After that, I want to clean up my mess. You need to release these GPIO pins after you've used them. How do I release them for the next guy that wants to use it or me later? GPIO dot clean up. Notice GPIO is uppercase, dot clean up is lowercase, and then open close your parentheses. <coughs> this should come close to working. So how do I save it? Control O. It suggests this file name, which is what we named it. That's correct. So all I click is enter. And then how do I get out of nano? Control X. I am ready to try to run this program. So I am going to say Python. I don't have to put a path name because I'm down in this same folder. So I say dig out.py and let's see if we get any errors. It seems to be happy and look, it put this at 3.36 volts and it should stay there for three seconds and then it should come down and it is not coming down. Ooh, I misspelled sleep. I see what happened. I have an error in there. Hopefully you guys caught that. So let's go in and fix that. Let's go back to nano digout.py. Catch my typos. That second one, I misspelled sleep. So I need to come down to that. OK, sleep. Control O, enter, Control X. We're going to run it Python, digout.py. And let me wake up my voltmeter again. <clears throat> OK, it went to low. It should stay there for three seconds. It goes high for three seconds. It goes low to zero volts. It goes to 3.36 volts. It goes low. So you can see that we are turning that pin on and off from inside of Python. And so that is very exciting. It's going to do that about four times. And we'll give it a second here to finish up. OK, it is finished. It goes back to floating, which is this kind of indeterminate state of 3.2 volts. Let's go on and look at the program again. So we import the library. If you get an error and you type this in exactly right, go in to the BeagleBoard website and download the latest operating system. We set the output pin to P9 underscore 12. And then we have it turn on, off, on, off, on, off in this loop. Let's try a different pin. Let's just try <clears throat> let's try this pin over here, which is pin 23. OK, I'm still going to use the same ground, but I'm going to use the left column and I'm going to come down to pin 23. So I'm going to have to count carefully. This would be uh, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, if I counted correctly. <clears throat> so now I'm on the left header on the left row and I came down to 23. What I would have to do at this point is I would have to tell it that I'm on a different pin. I'm not on P912. I am on P923. Let's save that. Control O, Enter, Control X. Let's run it again. Python digital out. If this doesn't work, I probably plugged it into the wrong pin. OK, we're up at 3.3 volts. That's good. Down to 0, up to 3.3, down to 0. All right, so we have shown <coughs> that we can write, digital write, 
to two of those uh, left pins. I'm not going to go through all the different pins. You get the idea. Okay, We're going to let this go ahead and finish so it cleans up the pin. So we'll see that when we get our cursor back, we know that this will be finished. But that way it'll get to that command that cleans up the pins. And so we should be good to go now. I am going to come back. And let's just do one more example. Let's do one over here. <clears throat> let's say that we're going to do P8, header 8, pin 17. So I can still use the same ground over here, but this one I need to come over here to the header 8, and I need to go down to pin 17. So this would be 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17. And I plug that in. When I plug that in, it uh, this one's just coming up at zero volts because we haven't done anything with it yet. <clears throat> but we'll get it going. So where am I? This time I'm on header 8 and I'm on pin 17. So let's come back to our program and edit it. <clears throat> we were on this time, not header 9, we're on header 8 and we were on pin <clears throat> 17. How do we save it? Control O, Enter, Control X, and now let's run it. Python space digout.py. We're going to run it and hopefully we'll see it come on. 3.3 volts. Stays on, goes off. Comes back on. Goes back off. All right. So what have we learned today? We have learned how to do digital writes in Python by loading in the Adafruit library. Just a quick review of how we do the pinouts. The left header is header P9. The right header is header P8. So we go the header, underscore, and then the uh, pin number, the physical pin number. We can do any of these green ones as digital outputs. In the program, we need to import the library. We need to say which pin we're working with when we say the pin. Uh, designator, we put it inside of quotes. We have to set up that pin, GPIO setup, tell it that it's an output. Out pin is going to be a GPIO out. And then to set it high, GPIO output is going to be GPIO, GPIO high or GPIO low. <clears throat> and so with that, that is how we can do digital writes to any of those green pins in the BeagleBone Black. So we will, in our next lesson, show you how to do analog writes using PWN. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Come back shortly for the next lesson. Paul McCorder, toptechboy.com. We'll talk to you guys later.